Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Maybe it's your morning, it's my afternoon. Listen, because of the lockdown, I had a chance to take walks which were like 10 kilometers a day, one way or another. And I enjoy them so much. I've learned that um, I am lazy and I'm not lifting my knees up enough. So I'm teaching myself. And it, actually the trick is, I'm thinking about my foot rotating. It sounds funny, but if you think that you lift the foot and then you put it down, then it's easier to lift the knees. You know, it's so easy for a person at the age of 65, 66 to get arthritis just from the way he's moving. And it does take work to prevent it. And thank God I succeeded too. But uh, in a Jewish edit says, you can never ever imagine that you'll have power forever. So you have to work at it and work at it and work at it. The important thing for me to say to everyone is kinesthetic awareness is the most important tool that you can have with you. It's the most invisible tool you can have. It's invisible because nobody understands your awareness of your body. My whole book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing with its 600 exercises, talks about that. How not to overstress yourself, but also how not to give yourself a break and be lazy about the movement you can have and how to feel each time what's right and what's wrong. It's almost, in my opinion, something that was given to us by the deity to feel, to feel the body deeply from within. And by the way, in my trainings, when I train people, I always tell them, before you work on someone's body with all the concepts you can have about working with them, first of all, you have to deeply feel your own body. And when you deeply feel your own body, it's easier for you then to feel theirs and to know what to do next. That's how I've helped so many people with arthritis to prevent hip replacement. That's how I've helped many people with knee problems to postpone or prevent knee replacement. So pain, when is pain good? When is pain bad? Pain is very good if you have back pain. And many people make the big mistake of taking pills, going to chiropractors, even massage therapists to get rid of their back pain. Yes, it's good to get a good massage, but you need to understand the pain is for a reason. You're not moving correctly. And often the back tenses to either help the arms or the legs, even the feet or the hands, and you don't know that. And it is that deep kinesthetic awareness that can teach you to let go of your legs and of your arms in order to feel much better and let the back be free. Here is your choice. Take a pill, don't feel your back pain, and with time you will rupture a disc. And then the uh, surgeon will miraculously free you from the pain by cleaning the disc, fusing your vertebrae, now your back is weaker, and the next disaster will come. So here's your choice. Suppress your pain. Take opioid to not feel your pain and get illness, pathology, like arthritis, like back pain, like autoimmune disease when the body fights itself. You have another choice. Feel the reason for the pain. Feel the movement that you need. Any time I had a little kink in my bed, in my back, I blessed it. I would lie down and start to work on my body. Sometimes it meant moving my feet in rotating motion because I felt that I put too much stress on my hip joints. Sometimes it's bending my knees and moving them from side to side. Sometimes it's simply breathing, visualizing expansion, but at all time feeling the body. Is it complex? To talk about kinesthetic awareness? Yes, it is. Just like it is complex to talk about colors, but we see them. It's not complex to see them. It's complex to talk about them. So when we feel our body deeply from within, 
we take away the reason for pain and we endorse the pain and reduce the pain. When do we take pills? Well, if somebody is about to die from cancer and the body is feeling terrible, then taking the pills will ease his pain. That makes sense. But in other situations, to me, it makes no sense. More people die every single year from taking medications against arthritic pain than all illegal drugs put together. And don't understand me wrong, I'm completely against taking illegal drugs. I even voted to legalize marijuana just because I believe in freedom, but I'm very much against smoking it and even eating it. I don't think we should have anything to do with it. But I'm also against cigarettes and I'm also against alcohol. I'm against many things. But the point is, feeling inside in a meditative way is the way that is so natural to be strong. And you should understand, you can overcome your pain. So when I teach you exercises for your body, my goal isn't that you'll know another exercise or two. I like you to know them. I think they're good. But my goal is, first of all, for you to build an intuitive awareness of your body. You can then do no wrong. Your body can get better. And even at the age of 65, going on 66, when I walk 10 kilometers a day, I walk them in such a way that my body is happy with them, is not sore, is feeling good. And I feel so content, especially since I talk to the trees and they talk to me. And especially because I sometimes put my glasses, which are red and green, and look with the red at flowers. Oh, you'll understand that better when we'll work together on eye teaming. But that's not for now. For now, you should know that kinesthetic awareness is the key. And this very famous author, Therese Berterard, who wrote the book, The Body Has Its Reasons, said, your body is your house, you are the landlord, and a long time ago you lost the keys. Let's find the keys together, the key to your health, the key to your movement, the key to your happiness. Happiness comes to life because you want your life to be happy. Your good friend, Mayer.